Reorientation started. Reorientation complete. Apogee. Last jettison. FBC jettison. Drug deploy. Drug cut. Pilot deploy. Mains are out. First stage disc reef. All right. Second stage disc reef. Full open, three mains. All right. Starting segment started. Feet AGO. Test director will check, but uh, they look fairly close to the timeline to me. And copy. Five hundred feet AGO. Landing. Strike on visual confirmation of landing. All right. And copy Good. that. Beautiful flight. Wow. That looked amazing. That went like clockwork from what I could see. And team uh, TC still confirming avian exit power, and we are receiving good telemetry from the vehicle. So that's TC, a good GNC on mission. Go TC, go GNC. Showing a nominal flight, uh, downrange of 6,919 feet, apogee of 3,886 feet. Copy that. Uh, how much, how far downrange? Showing 6,919 feet. So that's wow. uh, right that's on. That's actually, uh, that's actually probably a little further downrange than we predicted, is okay. what I'm thinking and maybe a little higher, so that motor's quite a performer. <laughs> Might not want to be riding in there. And the team if you copy, but we're still monitoring TM. We have good avionics. Okay, so that means that we landed, uh, and the avionics uh, survived the landing, which was gonna be a pretty hard landing. And um, that means that in eight minutes, uh, the flight computer is going to send a signal to cut the straps on the main chute so that they uh, go away from the vehicle. Team, uh, next event um, monitoring is about, uh, and then about the 14, 15 fire. minutes after landing, uh, the vehicle actually turns off almost all the power to the vehicle and it stops sending telemetry. So the good news is that we got all of our data um, and everything seemed to go anomaly. I just didn't see a thing wrong. It uh, looked like the motor went uh, took us higher and maybe a little further than we thought, but um, that's an amazing test, the first full integrated test of those three new motors. It's really something. Mm -hmm. and, and we'll get another report, actually. We're going to have a post-launch launch news conference, and uh, your uh, co-worker, Don Reed, the manager of the flight test office, will be in that. He's in the mobile operations facility right now. We hear him sometimes That's the right. He's the mission director. He did the countdown for us, um, and he's been uh, the lead for this for, for four and a half, maybe five years now. He's done a great job. He's my boss. So that team is uh, looking over the data now, uh, watching what, uh, going through the, the steps to lead up to the recovery because these uh, vehicles now on the ground are going to be recovered and analyzed. That's right. Uh, about 20 minutes um, after landing here, um, this recovery team, and you folks will be able to see them, uh, they were, they're staged right over here. 
and uh, right up next to the barrier. And that team is going to roll out of here.